Hello Cornerstone, this is Pastor Winans. And as I've been talking with many of you and hearing many of your stories, I've been hearing a lot of circumstances that are cause for worry and anxiety and stress. People in different relational situations, people in job and financial situations. And when we're facing those types of things, not only in our own lives, but in the lives of those we love and care about, it can have this effect of welling up within us a, a, an overwhelming sense of worry and anxiety. And today I want to take us to the scriptures, to a word from the Lord that would speak directly to that. And this comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, starting in verse 16 through 18. There the Apostle Paul says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In the midst of what we're facing, it may seem out of place to hear this word from God to rejoice always. But yet, no matter what we're facing, as followers of Jesus, we always have reason for joy. Because of Christ and the salvation that we have in him, we have an eternal destiny, which is secure, and we have the promise of the creator of heaven and earth, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. He is a very present help in times of trouble. And so in the midst of the darkness, which seems to want to overwhelm us, the word of the Lord is to rejoice always. We are a people who always have reason for celebration. But I wonder sometimes if we need to be reminded of the things that surround us, the things that are the gifts of God daily present in our lives. And maybe today we need to stop and to sit and to reflect and maybe even take out a piece of paper and make a list of the many innumerable blessings which God has given us and to pray continually to Jesus. You know, it is not without reason in the book of Philippians chapter 4 that the Apostle Paul there says, don't worry about anything. You never have to worry but by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, with thankfulness and rejoicing, let your requests be made known to God. As followers of Jesus, we are people of joy. And that joy and that thankfulness has a certain way of, of protecting us against the storm which is threatening to come against us. As it says that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You see, thankfulness and rejoicing is like a castle wall that holds at bay the unrelenting storm of worry and anxiety. And I wonder if today, if you and I need to stop and be reminded of all of God's goodness so that we, with the Apostle Paul, can rejoice always. He will never leave you he will never forsake you. Let's pray together. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that all the promises of God are yes and amen in Jesus Christ. Our sins are forgiven and our eternal destiny of eternal life is secure. And Lord, I pray that each one of us, being strengthened and reminded in the Holy Spirit, would be a people of joy because we are a people of thankfulness. And Lord, may that thankfulness be a wall to hold at bay the worry and anxiety that is always beating against the door. And we thank you that when we live in that thankfulness, the peace of Christ guards our hearts and our mind in Christ Jesus. And we thank you, we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, amen.